Hi guys, my name is Hena and I am a digital illustrator and today I'm going to take you through the process of creating this character from a little doodle I made in my sketchbook from this beautiful photo. I love this little doodle of mine so much so I decided why not to give it a chance to become a digital illustration, edit it to my Procreate and lower the opacity of the layer and started sketching over it and adding more details as I go on. My doodle was pretty easy and loose, so I needed to be more precise in my sketch in Procreate. I usually start my process by defining main shapes and form in the illustration. In this case it's pretty easy, it is this old man of the photo. I start by making an outlines and filling it with a color, with a base color. After defining my main shape I would fill in all the other big shapes inside of the main one using a clipping mask. It's one of my favorite tools in Procreate. And since the background is pretty easy, I decided to do it right in front so I can see my colors working on top of it. I'm just adding more and more details and then blurring the background just to give it the effect of the depth. After defining all of the main shapes and colors, I would start adding more details like eyes and face lines, face details and so on into the illustration. All of the details and forms I'm actually building on top of the main layer with the help of the clipping mask. I did a quick tutorial on my Instagram and TikTok if you were interested about learning how to draw inside of an object or on top of the layer, you can check it out, it is really helpful and pretty short. Most of the line work you can see me doing here is made with a Procreate brush in bleed. I just change it a little bit so the edges are more harder. to the skin of the character, it, it brings more life into it. You can see me working with the lasso tool. This is also one of my favorite tools and I would usually use it for the backgrounds, uh, for the buildings and trees and so on in more detailed illustration. <laughs> details to the objects is one of my favorite steps and I would usually use various different variations of, co of the color and add more spontaneous colors like some green in the blue or some even some yellow in the blues. <laughs> see me using one of my favorite brush and I will blend it here in the video and also if you're interested in the brushes I use my illustration I made a video and posted it on YouTube so you could check it out <laughs> and then my baby woke up and I needed to take a short pause and I am back. So I'm adding a new layer and setting it to the multiplier to add some shadow to my illustration. I start with uh, the, I would call it a basic shadows, like the shadows that would exist in there anyways, in the places like under nose, in the ears, under the head, and so on. shadow layer is also set as a clipping mask on top of the main character form so I am staying in the shape and drawing inside of the character. If you follow me on social media you know how much I love shadow and light because it gives 
such a magic feeling to illustration so I always take time adding it and thinking about it and trying different variations of shadows and lights and different colors <laughs> was the case I just wanted to give like the feeling of the clothes he was wearing with the texture with some lines but not get just like crazy with all of the photo like effects <laughs> sometimes I will back and forth with the steps and after building the first layer of shadow I would add another one and it's a bigger one and more bolder one so usually i would have like two or three or even more different shadow layers that are lying at, on top of each other i don't know why it just gives me some confidence and i feel more free doing it like i can go back and forth with it without worrying much about the thing Just like so so satisfying picture so I am adding a whole layer with a shadow on top of the main form and then I would start deleting some of the shadows on the edges of the character just to give it like the sunlight effect as you know the light reflects a lot of the objects from the ground from the objects you have around you that's why I make sure I add it to my illustration by setting a layer into the overlay and add some yellows, some blues to the shadows. <laughs> areas of the character more to shine I would add a new layer and set it to the color touch and fill it with a darker red or darker yellow <laughs> I don't know why, but it is definitely one of my favorite parts. It's also so satisfying. It does so much to your illustration and it, and it separates it from the background.
here it is i hope you enjoyed this short process video and if you have any questions please feel free to comment them i will answer all of them and if you would like to see more of those kind of videos please make sure to follow me and thank you for watching this video guys